These are so easy, Quilters Bias Bars. Now they come in different sizes, so you've got your 3 sixteenths, quarter inch, 3 eighths and half an inch. Now they're great for making stems. Now although you do have your bias makers to make stems now, this gives a little bit of a different effect. So you have more of a raised effect. So on the back there you can see you've got your seam there. And then on the front you'll see if you were to stitch that. Now great for stitching by hand and having more, as I said, more of a raised effect there with your applique. Now to make them, they're quite simple. You just cut your strip. Um, the pack will tell you the size to actually cut the strips for. And it's just a matter then of folding it with the wrong sides together. So you've got the right side on the outside. And then you'll stitch that along there using a 1 8 of an inch seam allowance. Now this is what your strip will end up looking like there. So there's a strip that's been stitched. Now just to show you how that works, I'm going to use a quarter inch bias bar. And all you have to do is just thread the strip over the bias bar like that. And you want to make sure that your seam is centered on the back. Just like that. And then you can just press that and that will give you a nice neat strip. Now these bias bars, they're not only good for patchwork and quilting and making bias strips. So once that's cool there you just slide that out. They're also quite good for dressmaking and bag making. So if you were making bag straps you could use the wider one there and once you've stitched your um, strip and then turned it through you can thread that through and that way you get a nice pressed strip with your seam centered on the back. Also great for making spaghetti straps with dressmaking. There we go.